sometimes it's more about being who you can be than being what someone wants you to be. You know, it's it comes down to what are you going to be happy about? How are you going to be happy about living your story? You know, sometimes it doesn't get accounted for right now for what you do and the good things that you actually do. And in fact, it never really gets really joyful unless you have Jesus Christ in your life and he's the one and only savior. You know, the one God that went to you, that's really worthy to take account of. The one God that found solace in sacrificing their one begotten son, and begotten means offspring. So yes, you're like the children of God, but you're not meant to be the offspring of God. You're just made to be in the image of God. And you know, God didn't get carried away and you didn't get carried away. Man didn't get carried away. The life just happened that way to where Adam and Eve bit the apple, da, 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 now we're here. Yeah, what are you gonna do with now that you're here? <clears throat> Sometimes you have to be your own hero. Sometimes you have to pull yourself out of the gunk that you're in. And you don't even realize that you're in it. That's how deep you're in it. And that's the truest wake-up call. And hopefully this is to you a wake-up call. To say, hey, don't go to the extreme of having to get woke up with such challenges and uh, characteristics that are just unique to your story yet are a great building point for you yet where you have to find ultimate forgiveness in because you made it to where you had this challenge and yes it's challenging to, to realize that you made it this way everything in your life happens for a reason because you're willing to understand through that reason or it's become to that such that length that measuring stick that you're measuring with might not add up to the same of what you need today because you're using yesterday's yardstick and tools are great yet the now moment is where it's at so understand that you are beautiful and amazing and you can do this. So keep going, beautiful one, dear family. Because you are the zest of living life. Living life, you know. You're the zest. You're the thing that life looks for. Have a great one, beautiful one.